Welcome, welcome to the famous Ibiza Street. The street that is very close to the British Square, the British Street, in the heart of the Levante side of Bennington Town and Rincon Village. Today we will explore some new businesses. Those have been here for years and years and you'll see what this street looks like and it should be quite busy right now mid April. First of all, we start the video right next to the Avenida de Europa. This is the avenue where a lot of buses do stop when they come from, uh, let's say, different cities, Alicante, Valencia, Murcia. There's a lot of buses like Alsa who do have their stops on the Avenue of Europe. Also, this is where the pharmacy that is open almost every single day is located. So in case you need something, this is the one that you could be uh, going on our left side we have a very ugly building there you go first ugly building of today and this is actually the cultural center of benidorm town and this is its uglier part on the other side it's all new all renovated or lovely with different types of natural stones and flowers and plants but on this side for some reason they've decided they ran out of a budget Right next to it, we have big Chinese uh, shops. Here they have, apart from different types of uh, light systems, they also have like a Chinese bazaar of a kind where you can purchase a lot of different things for a household. If you're on holidays and you need something, a cup, something for, for the uh, beach, for swimming, etc., you could possibly purchase it right here. Although mostly people who live here are visiting these types of shops. And you can see it's a Chinese, huge Chinese bazaar that does sell clothing in it as well. All complete service. Quite a few people already having a walk with um, suitcases. Wow, first ambulance today. We see it's going to be something usual, especially towards the summer season. You know, there's going to be a lot of people we did see someone fall down randomly in Rincon de Lodge because they were drunk. They had too much of a drink sometimes and little food. We see a lot of things out here, but ambulances speeding down the streets is something slightly more usual towards the summer season. It doesn't mean the whole city is like this. It just means that it, there is way more probability that something like this would happen. So there's quite a lot of people here with the luggages. Obviously, there are some hotels in the region which is why there's a lot of people that just arrived right here and were dropped either by taxi or by one of these Alsa buses who go from the airport or from any other city here in the region. We start to see some nice businesses that some of you do love. If I'm not wrong, many people were telling us that this restaurant, Japanese restaurant Home Sushi, is a very very nice place to grab some sushi and asian type of meals they have nigiris and different types of rices meats uh, something made in the oven tepaniyaki special meals makis it actually looks quite nice and i do feel that a lot of people said it's a very good place to go we are planning on filming it for a video in case they let us do that on the inside so if you're interested let us know and we will go here to check it out for you some lovely dancing here inside this is like an italian place bella ciao it's called very very lovely atmosphere on the inside i must say some more spanish places menu of the day 18 euros with peanut sauce with sauces meat either meat or fish plus the entree and a dessert and a bottle of wine 18 euros it's not too bad for a menu right now with the times that we actually uh, have in front we have more typical spanish places meson del segoviano this is like a steakhouse they do have quite expensive uh, meals especially when it comes to meats and steaks obviously but the prices here for example this is a menu of cochinillo which is basically a small pig or the offer of one kilo meat this is for two people 35 euros so 15 16 17 15 oh that's that's still good if it's for two people that's still good then they have bocadillos this is for a quick lunch seven euros bocadillo to choose from pint of beer some um, glass of something if you don't want beer and bocadillo seven euros that might be all right 
plus the coffee as well that will be seven euros a beer or different some type of wine the bocadillo some olives plus a coffee seven euros but the bocadillos usually are quite generous out here they're quite big so maybe that's okay maybe that's all right here in front we have right next to the cabaret lounge we have a brand new place this is a happy smile dental and medical clinic okay so here we have another dental clinic in case you need it uh, desperately during your holidays we actually made a video here on the channel well, about the dental emergencies what if something happens and you need a dentist on holidays and we have a full tips and tricks things you should know if something like this do happen if you should go to the hospital if not a private public hospital would do if a clinic would do all of it you should know on the video here just put benidorm bayana dental emergency and uh, you're not going to see myself but you will see a video about all this happening and how you should deal with it so very useful in case something happens some lovely bars out here nearby as you could have seen people playing pool grabbing some drinks watching some sports just a typical atmosphere already heading towards the summer here in the area ibiza street usually is very quiet in the winter season but now once the summer season has started back again there will be a lot of people walking everywhere you go voices karaoke place a very nice place as well to sing to just grab some drinks and sing as much as you wish because karaoke is open from 3 p.m i think till 2 a.m that's a whole night of singing nearby we have some more supermarkets that offer you just a teeny tiny bit of fruit some basics water refreshing drinks alcohol obviously in the area we are at and this is one of our favorite places they do even offer rations of paella that's new and they're famous because of their pizza slices their pizza margarita slices are for two euros each and the other one's 250 and they have a lot of typical spanish pastries and uh, bakes that you are able to try some of them being empanadas empanadillas uh, also croissants napolitanas with chocolate with some ham and cheese and much more but pizza slices are very popular in this place especially in the evenings when people are going out at nighttime. these pizza slices save a lot of people from hunger here we have a tobacco place this looks quite new or they rebranded it or it's brand new and there's a kitty here hi kitty oh <laughs> little kitty here waiting we just seen british pounds 1.13 that's the official exchange rate at least in this particular space of tobacco not the best one i think in benidorm the best one is in the indoor market in rincon de Witch. angelina coffee and pastries that's an interesting place happy chinese new year okay so that's like a chinese type of asian type of place okay all right it looks nice on the inside it definitely looks nice it's like these cozy aesthetic places in asia you know that people love to go to maybe we should try it out sometime because it it, it is giving a nice atmosphere on the inside we just need to try out the food and drinks that they offer i suppose it's coffee tea and some pastries which is actually very nice for morning midday or even late afternoon snacks so it's another new place that has opened up here there's quite a few that have opened up recently right before the summer season will start we are right by the british strip right by the british square many people call it different names but basically this is a big pedestrian only alley cars are not allowed and this is where all the nightclubs and night pubs are located in summer it is absolutely insane but during daytime it's all right here we have typical places that offer drinks offers for uh, cocktails uh, different types of meals 9 90 9 30 oh my goodness happy hour local mix okay 550 cocktails daikiri 550 estrella 350 two bottles as well takeaways half chicken costs about 850 half chicken with some salad and some side dish no not bad but since you can get one chicken for 11 euros entire chicken not too sure about the price obviously it has some side dish on it too some more supermarkets all in one typical ones that usually have three times more of the price than the 
local or regional supermarkets, the Lidl, Aldi, Masimas, Mercadona, Mendoza, Dia, now all these Spanish supermarkets, not the international ones, not the 24 hour ones. Obviously in these prices will be much higher because they just cannot lower the prices so much. They do not have this type of margin than the bigger companies do. Thus, obviously, their prices will be much higher. And being in strategic points when you need something, you know, desperately, and you don't have time to look for a supermarket, that's the price you will pay. Nearby, we have Hotel Venus, which is reformed on the outside. It's looking nice. All the balconies are white and blue right now. They're going to more or less the same aesthetic than they did with the Hotel Nereo, situated in Rincon de Loich, and with some others that they did change, slowly but surely. On the left side, we have the famous Hotel Pueblo Benidorm, situated right next to the Sunday's Market and Wednesday's Market. And we did film the Hotel Pueblo with you. We did film it for you guys, and we filmed a complete tour on the inside, not only in the main tower building, but also in the smaller ones nearby. We got to see some common areas and we've seen the entertainment in summer by the pool. So if you did not check it out, if you're thinking on going to the Hotel Pueblo, check it out because it will give you a way better idea on where to book, which type of room to choose and what you can expect if you will be coming here to the area. Hotel Helios, the Presidente, the Gold Argos are also nearby with a straight road towards the British Street and the Levante Beach. Staying in Benidorm is quite easy. Everywhere you are, you're able to find an easy way towards the beach side. And it's quite easy to walk around, especially after watching our videos. Hopefully it will feel as if you've already been here and everything will look slightly more familiar especially if it's your first time here in the sunny Benidorm town. If you do not like too much of a noise, then some of these hotels are suitable, like Hotel Pueblo might be suitable, Helios Hotel, but try to avoid the British area, the British street, especially where all the night entertainment is located, where all the nightclubs are located. Unless you love the night hustle and you love to go outside yourself, then that is absolutely fine but if you would like to have some quiet night rest some night sleep then you would co should consider at least some quieter areas even on the levante beach in the front line the hotel simbel is all right the uh, hotels such as the brand new inside of um, melia the hotels like brisa is also great and some more just to make sure that it's a quieter holiday for you or you can even choose the Poniente Beach which is the quietest it can get because it's close to everything but at the same time it's a totally different atmosphere of a Benidorm if you're seeking for more cozy quiet holidays we've seen a lot of groups passing by out here and that's because here we have a straight road towards the British Street the Hotel's Ambassador, the Flash One, Rosa Mar, that is still continuing with their refurbishment. And all this part of Benidorm will definitely be getting really, really busy as the time will go. Here in front, we have a parking space. This is all free parking. You can park here your car, your vehicle, if you're coming on holidays, even the rented one. And it is quite safe. You shouldn't be worried about it. But if you have a mobile camper van, I would personally recommend you to go to a campsite. Why? Because some people were robbed inside of their camper van when they went somewhere to explore in Benidorm and Via Joyosa. It's safer for you. You get more services included and it's not too expensive either. So just to be safe, especially because the town hall is mentioning that camp camper vans are not allowed in on these parking sites. So it's quite a tricky question you might get a you might get your vehicle towed or if not you might get some kind of a fine it's not as stipulated clearly anywhere at least for now with the signs you cannot park there but just in case proper parking spaces are way better for a camper vans than these big parking slots 
this is what the ibiza street is looking like overall it is quite busy and the more we go towards the summer months the june july and august the busier it will get it's a great alternative for those who still seek some quality places either to have some meals some snacks or drinks but do not want to be in a too noisy atmosphere ibiza street is great there's a lot of holiday apartments here nearby to not only hotels such as this one as you can see remember that we have a lot of hotel official tour videos here on the channel so check it out if you still did not see any because hopefully these will help you to make your mind about your future holiday destination in benidorm town Thank you for accompanying us in today's short walking tour down our lovely city of Benidorm on Friday on the Ibiza Street. We'll see you in a new video. Bye, Dees!